Hello everybody. I hope everyone's having a great day and today I am going to show you how to modify your car stereo to operate efficiently with an FM modulator. Some of the top complaints from these modulators are, you know, static in the city, They're pretty much static everywhere. You're just you're just going to get interference from other radio stations and it's it's annoying. So with this modification, not only do you save money, you get a crystal clear sound and you can leave your factory stereo in and it's not very hard it's just a slight modification that doesn't cost hardly any extra other than the materials some of the things you'll need will be electrical tape and 3m double-sided tape for my particular setup i have a bluetooth fm modulator that i purchased on ebay for a total of 13 dollars shipped and then this extender which i had paid about five dollars shipped from ebay as well it runs my gps and it also has two USB ports, which work very well. On this next step, I'll be pulling out the radio. This can be easy or difficult depending on the vehicle that you have. In my particular case, I drive a late 90s car, so most everything comes out pretty easily. They have these tools available online. You can look it up on eBay, and if you drive a domestic vehicle and yeah, some imports, O'Reilly does carry them, but for particular cars like Mercedes, Volkswagen, uh, you'll want to go on eBay. Okay, so step one, you want to make sure your radio is turned off and your keys are out of the ignition just to be safe. So you want to grab your tools here and just kind of pull to the side and the radio comes right out. The paper clip, you'll want to bend on the very end like kind of like a, like a, uh, like a, like a V-shape. If you just use one side and it goes in there, it's going to be jangling all over the place and you're going to want to shove it into the antenna hole and then from there you're going to want to enforce the quote unquote antenna with electrical tape so it doesn't touch any of that metal there and then use a 3M tape to secure the, the, the antenna into the hole. Now by doing this you are going to lose reception to pretty much every radio station but if you're like me and just use your phone for music or Bluetooth device etc etc then this is the perfect modification for you. After positioning the antenna, you're gonna to wanna to put the radio back in. All radios are different. So when you're putting the radio back in, don't completely secure it. You'll wanna run a test first. You wanna make sure that the antenna is at the optimal position for your setup. Because if it's a little bit too off, if it's a little too up or a little bit too down, some stereos are a little picky about that and you will still exhibit the static symptoms. Just double check your work and before you pop it back in completely, Run a, run a dry test on it, make sure everything's all good and everything. So we have the stereo back in, uh, not all the way in because we want to test to make sure that our antenna is good. We're going to go ahead and cut it on. So there you have it. It's a really easy modification. You'll spend about 20 bucks doing this if you're going from scratch. If you already have the FM tuner and the materials, then it's pretty much free. I mean, paper clips, if you're really desperate, you can go to the gas station and ask for one. I'm sure they'll give you one for free. I actually have a spare one in my change thing. And the best part is, all this is reversible, so if you want to sell your car and you know somebody else might not want the modification, it's easily undone. You just take it out and you pop the factory antenna back in, bada bing, bada boom, you are good to go. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. Uh, you can say, hey, great job, Dylan, or wow, why would you do that? All right, guys, I'll see you later.